Good questions so far. Thanks for the questions. Any other questions that we have? All right. The last thing we have to do in our section, besides translate some statements, we have to talk about equations. We've already talked about variables. We know what those are now. We've talked about expressions, but what we haven't got to is equations. So we'll talk about that for just a second. What an equation is, I mean, you get this from the word equation, the key word there, what's, what's the key word in equation? Equal. Yeah, equate or equal, that's right. So what this is, an equation is just a statement of equality. What that means for you is this, this is the important part about it. Anything that has an equal sign is an equation. Anything that doesn't have an equal sign is an expression. That's the difference there. Equal sign, equation. Not equal sign, expression. The thing we're going to find out later is that we can solve equations. We can only evaluate expressions. We can do this all day long with expressions, plug numbers in. But we can't ever solve them and find the variable independently. We cannot do that. There's no equation. So that's, that's what we're going to use equations for is actually solving. Which one can you solve again? Equations or expressions? Equations. Equations, yeah. Ex which one has the equal sign? Equations or expressions? Do expressions have an equal sign? No. no. These are expressions, what we've been dealing with the whole time, no equal sign. So equations, what I'm going to put up here is they're statements of equality and therefore have an equal sign. have an equal sign. I'll put right underneath this. Expressions don't. They're just statements like what we've had. Let me clear this up a little bit. Firstly, equation, expression. Expression. Okay, good. Did you all agree that's an expression? How much is x? Whatever number wants to be. So you can't just tell me what x is right now, can you? Not until I do this. Once I become right now, when I put that up there. And now, you can probably think of what number would fit in that x spot. So let me ask this question. Is 4 a solution? A solution is a number that makes a statement true. Is 4 a solution? Why not? That'd be 13. Okay. So if I put 4 here, yeah, we get a 13. They would certainly not be equal. That's what an equation has to be. So well, I'll define the solution for you if you're not clear. What we say solution is just a value that makes your statement true. That's what we're talking about. A solution is a value or values that will make your equation true. And sure, we could try 4. I mean, we just did. You probably did in your head. But if we tried 4, like, is 4 a solution? I'm going to abbreviate here. Is 4 a solution? How you would check to see if 4 is a solution, take that 4, plug it into your variable, and see if it's equal. If we tried that here, if we plugged in 4, you all gave me the answer already. But we'd have 4 in, our, in place of our variable plus 9 equals 12. And if we worked this out, we'd have 13 equals 12. Is that right? We put a line through it and go, no, that's not a solution. So our answer to this question would be no. 
And for right now, that's how we're checking to see if something's a solution or not. In the future, I'll give you some great steps on how to solve any equation you ever come across in this class or probably math A and most of math C. Uh, I'll give you all those steps. It'll work, almost, it'll work all the time for you. That's great. But for right now, all we're doing is checking to see whether something's a solution or not. How you determine that, plug it in. If it works, if it makes it true, it's a solution. If it doesn't work like this case, then it's not a solution. That's the difference. Some people understand what a solution is. Good. Okay, you said the solution is, what was the solution here? Three. Yeah, three. Because if we put in three, three plus nine does give us that 12. So what we'll say here is x equals three is a solution. One last question for you, someone on the right hand side, my right hand side. Are there any other numbers that work? Negatives. No. But even negatives aren't going to work here. Multiple numbers. What, what do you mean? X could be 2 plus 1. Okay, yeah. I mean like single like value. Yeah, you're right. It could be, right? But if, if we're take, taking one number and plugging it in there, is there anything no. else besides 3 that's going to work? No. No, you're right. Yeah, That's the only solution in this case. Oftentimes in this class, we're going to be down to getting one solution. And that's, that's pretty much it. In Math C, you start getting one or two solutions. In other classes, you get more than that. And I can give you some, some knowledge about that when we get on into solving equations, which we will. Uh, but for right now, we'll be getting one solution, and that's the only number that's going to work for us. Let's try a couple more. Don't answer out loud. I don't want you to know that you know it right now. I want everyone to have a chance to think about this. What I'd like you to answer is this. Do this on your own. Don't say it out loud. Is 8 a solution? Is 8 a solution? Check it out. How would you find that out? Well, we just learned we can plug that value in, do the math on it, and see if they're equal. If it is, then A's a solution. If it's not, then A's not a solution. Try that on your own right now. If you're done with that one already, try this next one. What I'd like you to do is determine which of these ones are solutions. It's either 10, 6, or 8. Find which one's a solution. Don't tell me out loud, just do it on your paper. By the way, I've looked at your homework. Your homework's pretty good. I've graded it all. I just keep forgetting to bring it to class. Darn it. Bugging me. But um, I have it all graded, and it's looking pretty good for most of you. Most of you know what I expect you to know, and you're picking up the new stuff. So congratulations on your homework. That's great. Uh, you will be getting it back starting on Monday. I just have to put it in the grade book, and then I'll get it back to you. So good job so far. Very good. OK, let's look at the first one. Is A a solution? How did you determine that? Very good. That's exactly right. You said make the eight, the y the eight in for the y. Good. And what then? What did you say? You get two. Uh huh. And you multiply it times three equals six. 
So when we get down to here and we say 6 equals 6, we go, oh yeah, that's true. That's a true statement. And the answer here is yes then. So we just answer yes, 8's a solution, we're done. Next one, we got to determine which one is a solution. So there's three to try. Did you try the 10? If you try the 10, I mean, you really could kind of think of this in your head. If you try the 10, that's already 50, right? Yeah. That's way more. If you try the 8, that's already 40. That's more. Try the 6. 6 gives you 30, and then we add the 4. The 6 is going to work. And in order to show that, we do 5 times 6 plus 4 equals 34. Of course, 5 times 6 order of operation tells us this is 30 plus 4. And sure enough, at the very end, we get 34 equals 34. The other ones would not have done that for us. So our solution here is 6. Do you feel okay on finding out what solutions work? How many people feel okay on finding out what solutions work? Good. Good for you. The last thing we do in our section, we're going to talk about how to translate word problems into math, because i got to be honest with you. That's like the hardest part in math for a lot of people is doing word problems. Do you like word problems? Uh, nope. Nobody likes word problems. Why? Because they're hard. They're not like this where you just do it. It's not just numbers. You have to translate it first. And then you have, it's like putting English together with math. Who would have thought? I mean, come on. What's that about? You have to translate and then do the math itself, which the translating is the hard part. So we're going to start off slowly. We're not going to start off with a massive word problems right now. We will get to word problems later. I promise we will. Hard ones. And you'll be able to do them just fine. Uh, but for right now, we're going to start off nice and slowly. We're just going to be translating some expressions. I want you to get used to these words, like increased by, quotient, product, sum, things like that, so that when we get on to those word problems, you have an easier time. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Say yes. 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 Some of you are zoning out already. You've got to zone in. I only need you for 25 more minutes. Okay? Just focus in for 25, and you get a weekend. What I would like you to do on your own time, go, go home, look at page 78, and write that down. Look at page 78. There's some words that I need you to memorize. Okay, all the word, what they mean. Like the words like increased by, the words like um, decreased by, or quotient, or subtracted from, or less than. All those things you need to have in your head. That way when we talk about them, you know exactly what it means. So we're going to go ahead and do some examples right now. We'll do about, oh, six of them together. We'll, I'll give you about five or so to do on your own. And that should really give you an idea about a lot of the words we'll be using in this class. You with me on this? Okay, let's do this thing. 78. Yeah. Do you all have any questions on solutions before we, or equations before we get started on this? All right. So we're going to talk about translating right now. I'm going to give you a way to do word problems that I hope is going to help you out. Uh, what we do with word problems is we do a lot of underlining and translating piece by piece. That allows us not just to have to look at the whole thing and figure out what it is in one <coughs> fell swoop. Because it's very hard to do, especially when you have more than one sentence word problems. It's <coughs> and so here's a, an option you have in order to kind of translate any word problem you get. First thing, when we write it out, we're going to get some statement.